three. ILS approaching you, landing at a parting runway two four. That is Trevin, East Coast Crane one quarter mile. Hello guys, this is Albert Junkie, and today we're going to bind the E6 transmitter to the Tiny Hawk S flight controller. And it's been a little bit of a challenge, but I'm going to show you how. So first thing you want to make sure is that when you plug it in, you don't have to hold the bind button anymore like you usually do on the beta flight controllers. So as you can see in here, you have two blinking lights, the red and the blue. So the first thing we're going to do is hold the bind button for two seconds until the, so until the blue becomes a solid blue light. Okay, as you can see already, Stop blinking. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at here. There's only one blinking line, which is the red. We're gonna go ahead and um, turn this on. I'm gonna leave it right there so you can see the blue. I'll adjust this so you can actually see the blue light. Still still solid okay right there let me grab something sponges right here okay now you can see it now in here you're gonna see a green light by holding down the trim tabs for throttle and pitch at the same time you're gonna see a red light once you let go, you're going to see that the red and green are blinking. And then now, in here, you see that the blue light, it's blinking now. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And then I want to turn it back on. You see that the blue light, it's solid again. So that, that's bound. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this because we no longer need it. I'm gonna unplug it with, I'm gonna plug it in to beta. Now in beta, when you have, when you download this, Perfect. Now we have quietness. Starting battery packs for tomorrow. So now, once you down, once you replace that flight controller, it's going to come in. It's going to come with um, on this. So, when you get a new flight controller for the tiny for the beat for the tiny Hawk S, it will come on default on SPRRX support and underneath it, right now I have it on the right channel, which is FR Sky D, but it will come in on this one, FR Sky X. That's D16 and you do not want that. You wanna do D8, which is this, and that's what this controller it has. This is, it's made for D8, uh, not D16. So once that's done, you want to go ahead and push safe. You can go on the receiver mode and then you can turn this on, that's on, and you can see this is working perfectly. Now keep one thing in mind that on this software that I have, it is the 4.00. 4.0.0 I will put a link down below you must have that hex file from Emacs in order for for the flight controller be able to be read through Betaflight without that 
you will you will be able to bind that controller to the flight controller, but beta will not be able to read it. So it's two different steps. Once you see that you are bound, but you don't see these readings, that's because you need to you need to download the file from Emacs. I will put a description down below. Once you do that, everything should be fine. All right, guys, this concludes our video. I hope it was useful so you can bind your E6 transmitter and your flight controller together and be able to work all together in, in conjunction with Betaflight Configurator. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please stay out of the tree and hope for a clear sky. Have a good one. Until then.